Okay everyone, welcome back to Steve's Training Vids. Now here we have another fantastic Chinese no-name PDB. I'm thinking maybe OSD is already on back of the board on the other side. Well it's not, you don't get it. It's not part of the deal. Not that comes in the bag anyway. That's all that comes in the bag. Your 5 volt back I'm leaving it in the plastic because there's no markings on them there's only a marking on the bag so I'm hoping that they're correct what I'll do is I'll install the 12 volt one first and uh, put that in the 12 volt spot and if they've marked it wrong in the 12 volt spot and if they've marked it wrong and it's the 5 volt well it won't do any harm if you do it the opposite way around and you put the five, what you thought was the 5 volt and the 5 volt and it ended up being the 12 volt, um, it may do some harm to something. It may not. Maybe the LEDs are all on the 12 circuit. Alright, another reason, it's got a switch for the LEDs. You can turn the LEDs on and off. You don't want the LEDs on. Bright day, you're flying FPV, you don't care. Turn the LEDs off if you want. Okay, I thought this was really interesting as well. I've got this on macro, basically. <laughs> this webcam. So, there you can just see, okay, a little pot. So you can actually fine-tune this to make sure that you're getting your 5 volts out of this back. You can put your little screwdriver in there and just fine-tune it with your meter on it. On your average voltage pack of say, you know, 11.6, you see if you're getting exactly 5 out of it, see what you get out of it when you put a brand new battery on it. If it's too much, it's got above 5.2, you might want to turn it back down a little bit, get it down about 5.1 with a full battery, put a low battery in, see what the range is, see if she's sitting at the same, 5.1, and then you want to go beautiful, that's it. So it should always be giving you five, but check it. And if not, you can use the little pot that's on there to wind her up and down. Okay. Okay, so there are sub back markings on the back of the back. You can see that it's showing you positive and negative. Positive on one side, negative on the other. And it's showing you that what side should be coming in and what side should be coming out. Okay, so excuse the focus on there. That's what you get. Okay, so we'll just find which sides are common. So I'm on the common terminal here, and we'll go here. It's not that side. There we go, so there's our common side, so it should correspond, and it does. Okay, so it's common negative towards the filter, and we'll have a look. And like I surmised, it's negative towards the switch. So negative towards the filter, negative towards the switch. Let's you figure out which way to put these down the actual back. It's going to let you figure that out because on the back of the back it's telling us which side's negative, which side's positive. So we can line up that negative rail or that positive rail with the right side that we want to put it on the board. Okay, so that's one thing to check with the meter. So we can check that out quite simply like that. Now, Okay, so we've proved that we've also got, with our common side of our 5 volt back for the ground, and we've proved that goes to ground by just going to the ground terminal on the battery. What we've also proved is between the in and the out on the 5 volt to 12 volt board, there is nothing between it. It's waiting for the back to go in there and convert that signal to 5 volt and come out. 
Now, we can also prove that self to ourselves by going from this side, which I know is out, back to the battery, positive and nothing. Okay, if I take that back to here, so it's the 12 volt into the 5 volt back. There you go, you can hear the signal, can you? Okay. So, I'm playing around the board and I'm thinking, why is this lump of solder on the 12 volt one here? You can see there's a little bridge of solder, that's what it looks like to me, there's a lump on there. Well, if we go, we've proved it on the board, just bring the probes in here, that this is the common between there and there. We went, okay, there's our common. I'll go back to common on the battery terminal, and yet yeah, that's our common. Okay, so we're going to go to our 12 volt, and I'm going to choose that this side's the in, the 12 volt. Ah, yes, it is. So if I had a 14 volt battery going in there, that's where my 14 volts is going in. And on this other side, I should get nothing because it's waiting for the 12 volt back to go in. But there's a bridge. There's a bridge between the battery in, which can be any voltage, even 5S, to the other side of the 12 volt back. Okay, so why have they done that? Why have they put a bridge in there? That's all I can assume that that, it's not a hole that I can see going through the board. It's all that I can assume is that they've meant this to always be for 3S. Now, if I got my solder and iron out, could I remove that blob from here and get rid of that circuit? Is there a little pad there just outside this pad that they've joined? So I can't resist. Solder and iron is going to come out. So just wait a second. We're going to solder and iron hot. Okay, so just like I thought, I whacked the solder and iron on it and I just quickly wiped away the solder. And there is a gap now. And that's what that bit of solder was there for. So if you were running a 3S system, you could just not bother with that back, the 12 volt back. So now let's just look around the board now. I'm wondering as well whether the LEDs are going to actually be from the battery as well. So let's go across a LED. And now they're not. Before, when I just went direct from battery to either side of a LED, there you go. So now those battery, those LEDs are going to be from this side of the back. If I go from there, here we go, to the other side of that blob, nothing, to here, yeah. Okay, so now that I've desoldered that blob off there, we now have a board that's capable of running the 4S battery. Okay as we've removed our 12 volt back off the system, our 12 volt link that they had in there to come straight from battery to link everything through. So now you have to put the back in to run the LED. So now we won't have a circuit between, there we go, it's waiting for the back to go in. So we don't have anything from there to there, but we do from there to there and it's waiting for the back to go in. Okay, beautiful. So that's why you get your meter out and you have a look around the new PDB just to see what's going on.
Okay, a uh, quick jump cut back to me. We could go on with that board for a little bit longer. Um, I've decided not to. i um, just put an order in for a cheap knockoff Nays board with the same pin layout needed for this. So we'll put the, um, the 5 volt back, the 12 volt back and the Nays board in it, put some standoffs off it, um, a pigtail out and we'll go from there on another vid. So um, if you like what you've seen, good, say so down here, subscribe, anything like that. If you don't like what you've seen, well, tell me that as well. Okay, guys, so I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.